Hey, we're here at Ride Park in Melbourne and we're here to test the all new YZ450F. Well, let's start with the lightweight. With the engine, it's all new from the ground up. So from the air induction, the air filter area, it's been optimized right through to the valve, the cylinder head, all new, new piston, new crankshaft, a lighter weight crankshaft with extra balance. So it's a very smooth engine. They've shaved weight from everywhere, especially the clutch. It's an all new clutch with a different spring and it shaves around about 720 grams. It's a huge weight saving from the engine. It's a more compact engine, which allows the engineers to place it exactly in the right position for centralized mass. So yeah, the chassis is all new as well. They've lowered the top rail. They've strengthened the uh, pivot points and the headstock area. It's an all new bilateral beam frame and it handles sensationally. When you get on the bike, you'll instantly notice that it's much slimmer through here, through your knees. It's slimmer at the shroud area. They've changed the rider triangle position, so the relationship between the foot pace and the handlebars for the rider. It's much more easy to ride. It's much more easy to get over the front end and get that front wheel traction. So to complement the new frame and the new engine, this bike's now running a new uh, blue button switch, and that, that talks to your phone. So your power tuning now is much more uh, simplified, I suppose, and much more user-friendly. You've now got a little uh, scroll button where you can choose which sort of power to dial in. And it has new features, such as you've got a lap timer here on the blue button. You've got uh, traction control and a number of features that just make the rider's life much easier. It's much more comfortable to ride, easy to ride. And when it's easy to ride, that means you're going to go faster. So the new bike now tips the scales at 109 kilos wet. That's with a full fuel tank. And I suppose one of the key uh, goals, if you like, for the development engineers was to create something that's not only light, it's also strong, fast and reliable. And normally you can have one or two of those elements, but to capture the whole lot, lightweight, strength, reliability, you know, I think they've done an excellent job. But don't take my word for it. Um, I've got Josh Coppins here from Josh Coppins Racing. Now he's ridden this bike and he's ridden a number of other YZ450S and uh, he, um, he's he got the inside line, I think you could say. Is that right, Josh? Yeah, some would say that. So can you tell me um, what impressed you most when you rode the 2023 YZ450F? First feeling when I hopped on the bike was obviously a lot more slim and much easier to move around. So the rider triangle from the handlebars to the foot pegs to the seat was a lot wider. Gave me more room to be able to uh, maneuver on the motorcycle, but it felt very lightweight. So that was the first things which stood out. After that was the long pulling power, the lack of uh, having to be so busy on the gear changes, it was just able to pull through the gears a lot longer. And the linear smooth power, it felt more rideable. There are a number of uh, components that attributed to that, but that was uh, the first few things that I felt that I was really like, wow, it's a complete new bike. So despite having more power, it's actually more manageable to yeah. use, would you say? Yeah, that's right. So the traction and the, the linear of the power is so smooth. It's mm. very forgiving, very smooth. It has very good c connection from the throttle to the rear wheel. Who, uh, who would this bike suit? Would it, would it be a step up, massive step up for a 250 rider like the old 450 was, or is it much closer, would you say? No, a lot closer because it's lighter, it's more easier to maneuver, and the power is more usable right from the low RPM all the way through the rib range. So it's a lot more forgiving and uh, definitely suits a wider customer. Yep. Um, so less of a gap, as it were, to transition from one to the other. Yeah, 100%. So the feeling is, uh, feels a lot more like a 250F when you ride it. Uh, that was my initial feeling. When you tip it into the corners, that lightweight feel feels a lot more easier to ride. Now you've had a lot of success riding older versions of YZ450Fs. They've come a long way over the years. This is um, probably 25 years now since um, the very first one came off the production line um, that really revolutionized the, the movement you know, towards four strokes. You've yeah. seen a lot of development throughout that time. What's your opinion then of the latest iteration? Well, every time we start to take a step ahead or a new platform, I start to think about where they're going to go to next. How much better can this bike become? Because it really is a step up every time. They keep developing so much more new innovation. And uh, Yamaha's done the same again with this, this new model. So uh, yeah, it's been a huge, uh, huge road to uh, from the very first one to where we are now. 
but I'm sure they've got a plan for the next step and uh, so far it's uh, looking very good for what we've got currently. It certainly is and it's worth saying that this, the current model is, is the American Supercross champion, the American motocross champion, the Australian motocross champion. Um, in Europe it won the manufacturer's title. We are currently leading the Supercross. I mean, so how much better can it get? I mean, well, know, we have a great DNA, obviously. So, uh, as we know, Yamaha is super passionate about it and uh, going racing, and uh, of course they want to do well, and it's going to stick filters all the way down to the customer with this product. I hear the sky's the limit. I also hear that Eli Tomek wanted to re-sign with the American team once he saw this bike. Yeah, uh, he managed to get a ride on it prior to uh, a lot of us and uh, definitely made him confident to move forward with his contract signings and extend his career after riding this bike. So uh, definitely some positive news from him.